Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, June 25th, 2017. Although this is although this is pre-recorded for your amusement and your entertainment, I hope you're enjoying a little bit of a flashback series we've had the last two mornings, and today will be the last one. And Jen and I will be live again on the morning chooch tomorrow. You know, before there was a Missy Jen, before there's really much of a uh, Bobby or the boss on the scene, there was Rosie on the Rancho alone. And uh, one of the things that I really enjoyed doing was going out on those afternoon chooches. And I know I haven't done them in a while, and I hope to begin them again too. But uh, a lot of people started following me because I would do the neighborhood walk and talk. And they really seemed to enjoy that 15 or 20 minutes that they could maybe eat dinner in the evening and click it on and watch Rosie get uh, crazy. Well, it wasn't always me being crazy. It was often crazy stuff happening to me. Guys rolling up on me, show me your tits, you know, honking horns, or walking down the street. Well, one afternoon, I got a little more than I uh, bargained for with one of our notorious uh, neighbors down the, down the street here. And, uh, well, it just seems he couldn't keep his hands out of his pants, or I should say off of his private area. And it made for really a most awkward moment, as you'll see. Enjoy this flashback to 2013. You know what, guys? I will see you tomorrow with the Missy. Enjoy! Good afternoon guys, not even a hump day out here and the uh, natives are restless <laughs> out on the avenue of love today. Good afternoon everybody, Tuesday the 23rd, it's about uh, 4.30 p.m. Had the basic, uh, thank you, had the uh, basic day from hell today. <laughs> Just saying, oh, don't say it, Rosie. Really, you had a uh, tough day at work, uh, dicking off on uh, Facebook all day. And <laughs> I love, I got a uh, great friend, uh, Lori, and uh, Lori's overseas in Germany, and she's, she's like, huh, oh, I never miss one of you things, but I don't understand, Rosie, how you, uh, how you work full time and, uh, you know, you have that shit place where, as she says, the shit place where I uh, live. Thanks, babe. <laughs> With my own two hands, I've built that fucker out of. <laughs> like that shit place that you live. I know that you answer every single comment that somebody <laughs> leaves you on, uh, on uh, YouTube. And now you got this. Uh, Facebook crap where you're chatting with me all day. It's pretty amazing. And then I'll tell you guys, I just uh, out of bottle this shit and uh, sell it. I'm out chooching with the boy uh, today, and uh, I got to stop watching my pocket. I'm counting the time till uh, he gets dickered up in the uh, leash. Three to five says it's going to be within three minutes on the uh, chooch here. So. I woke him up. He sleeps in the shine shack now. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't hear anything anymore. Come on, Wolfie. Not like I'm not hungry or anything. Come on. Don't pull that dog, Rosie. He's so cruel. <laughs> oh, it's insane. Anyway, uh, got this kid. You know, Wednesday's my day off. I try to always look forward to. Uh, sleeping in a little bit on Wednesday mornings, right? But there's this, uh, you know, the garbage dick comes down the street and it's 6 a.m. sharp, boom. He starts picking up all the uh, trash cans, emptying them, and he does about a four-foot drop, right? Because <laughs> he wants you to know, like, because his life is shit, that uh, why shouldn't yours be shit, too? So every time thing comes up, pick them up over the top. Boom, drops him <laughs> four feet. I'm almost used to that, but uh, you know, Johnny across the alley there, I should say, uh, Her Gerardo across the alley there has his uh, nephew staying up from, uh, I don't know, 
Tucson or LA or something. And uh, you know, these little lads like to get on their hot wheel, their uh, their big wheels, at like uh, the crack of uh, crack of dawn at like 5:30 a.m. And if you guys have never heard the sound of a uh, big wheel, that's the uh, little plastic POSs that have the big front wheel, a trike. And uh, <laughs> they're made so you can wear out. The front wheel runs through after, uh, you know, a couple weeks of continuous uh, play. Thank God the thing just uh, gives up the ghost. But man, it's tough when you hear that thing chooching up and down the alley every morning. 5.30 till 10.30 <laughs> Those kids just go up the alley and down the alley and up the alley. <laughs> oh, you know, I know I'm going to get comments. Yeah, I hate that sound, Rosie. I hear that thing over in the uh, neighborhood. This trucker had the longest tongue I've ever seen. <laughs> Anyway, it is what it is. You know, I got uh, you know, I got tons of people always comment. Jeez, you're just in a freaking war zone there. It's just it ever quiet. That's when I did the. Uh, I told you guys when I did the day trip, Santa Rosa, and I went over to McDonald Avenue where the big uh, fancy homes are, and you could hear a pin drop over there. It was so quiet, but uh, you know when you. When you pay uh, 2.5 million dollars for a house, you <laughs> you can really uh, you can really get her done. So, <clears throat> but uh, oh, the weather—I don't know—it's been overcast and stuff, and kind of uh, kind of cloudy. I don't know what this. Come on, Wolfie. Thank you. That's the best. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. What's your name? This, this is Wolfie. Wolfie? Oh. And I'm Rosie. Rosie? Hi, Rosie. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah. All right, have a good day. You too. Bye, Wolfie. Is it just me, guys? I think you can see that guy had his like uh, his wiener out in the front of his uh, drawers there. <laughs> Doing nasty shit and the bad thing is I gotta go back that way too. <laughs> oh well, never let it be said that uh, Rosie's not a uh, fun gal. Uh, I gotta redo this shout out for the third time because my pal and Nicole's like, <laughs> in UK he's like, uh, <clears throat> She wrote, okay, you know, blow it out your ass. <laughs> like Rosie. <laughs> you got my name, you didn't get my channel name, you bitch. <laughs> Trans Asian. T R A N S A S A S H I A N. Just find one of my videos. She comments and comments and harasses me <laughs> all the time. She's another sweeter, and I got Sandy. Uh, Sandy Callie, I gave her a shout out today. She had some requests for stuff like Rosie, you know, how come you're. Do you ever have a sad time? Did you ever cry? Is your transition always been a dream? And. No, I mean, I, it hasn't always been. I didn't go over all the. Uh, you know, it seems so long ago. It seems like a million years ago. It's some memories you repress and other things going through the early transition days. This is why I tell you, uh, you know, some of the channels on YouTube are so enjoyable. You know, not in a way that you enjoy seeing people struggle, but enjoyable because you can learn. You know, if you're ever thinking about uh, transitioning or changing your sex, <laughs> the hell was I thinking, right? You better get some ideas of what you're up against because uh, if you think you pop a couple blue pills and. Uh, you know, some tea blockers or something. It's a whole different ball game. So I'm gonna have a few things to say about that too. But uh, yeah, I mean, knock on wood, I can't complain too much. Wow, it looked like a. What the hell is this about? It's like a shit paper explosion here, huh, Wolfie? Wow. 
know, in this neighborhood, guys, you want to use both sides of the toilet paper and be economical and uh, be green, right? <laughs> two-ply tissue. Give one to your neighbor. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to chooch on home and uh, get some dinner. And I love these people that uh, blare their radio on 10 while they're riding along in convertibles and shit. What a bunch of douchebags. <laughs> if that's anybody subscribed to me, don't be mad, okay? Alright guys, later.